Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Of course, we are going to start with Eve. I apologize for the lack of variety, at least in terms of characters. Obviously, the game is varied each and every single time, despite how many times I pick up Brimstone, but I'm gonna try to make Eve work. The reason for that being, I need to beat the game with every character anyway, in case, you know, somehow you are just joining us. I need to get inside of that. Um, yeah, in case you were just joining us, uh, I, I feel, I'm, I'm on a quest to beat the game with every character. Apparently, there is a, uh, another boss, which can be accessed via a trinket, which is unlocked when you, yeah, awesome. Uh, that is unlocked when you, uh, beat the game with every character, so, uh, I gotta do that. I know I have not beaten the cathedral with Eve, and after Eve, I'm a little bit confused about who I have and haven't beaten the game with, so I know Eve has to go, and beyond that, I know Eve is gonna be probably the most difficult character for me to beat the game with, so I wanna get her out of the way as soon as possible. You know, Samson recently got a buff. That was very close right there. Uh, I guess I will use this bomb to go back and pop open that. Ah! Pop open that uh, six cent area over there. I mean, six cents for a bomb is, by and large, not a fantastic trade, but it's it's workable. I can live with it. Can we put out the fire with our? No, we cannot. I thought we could put out the fire with our uh, attack fly. Almost called it an angry fly. Been playing too many iPhone games. Just kidding. I don't even have a cell phone because I am an 80 year old man from the 19th century. Anyway, we are going to go fight the boss here. It's the Widow, um, but we have the attack. Ah, we have the attack fly and the dead bird now. Uh, I was kind of hoping the dead bird wouldn't even get a crack. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I think my mistake was I was trying to uh, hit the Widow with the attack fly, which seems like a recipe for disaster. Man, Widow has been seriously nerfed. It dies quickly now. Get an HP upgrade, that's good. Um, I mean, not good enough to put us over the edge, certainly, but it's a good start. We're building a good base. Curse of Darkness on the basement part two, so we can't see what the heck is going on. I'm definitely gonna make sure, if nothing else, take out that orange fire, so that I don't get hit as I walk by. We got our treasure room, and we got a key, so we're in a good position on that front. And we got a second key, so if we come across a library on this floor, that would be great. Speedball is going to give us, uh, basically upgrades in terms of all speed attributes. We can fire much more quickly, we can run much, much more quickly, and our pupils are super dilated. YouTube community, I give you permission to jam an adrenaline needle through my sternum into my heart in case I overdose on this sweet ass speedball action right here. Uh, you know what? I don't know if this is a library or a shop. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because I used a key to open it by accident anyway. Uh, and what I might do is just go back in there and buy another key to be honest. That can be a five cent mistake. I would, uh, of course, prefer to get the compass for the low, low cost of 15 cents, but the odds of me getting... Ooh, that was close. Odds of me getting another 8 cents on this floor? Probably pretty low. But, you know, I'll, I'll hold out because we could possibly get the pageant boy for wh wh whichever boss we defeat. And compass, oh, would obviously be a fantastic item. There's some bombs. Uh, if I can visualize just what the heck is going on on this floor... Super gluttony. If I can visualize just what the heck's going on on this floor, map-wise, I may try to look for the secret room with these two bombs. I would, of course, rather just use it to get some guaranteed money, though. Alright. Super Gluttony, give me an HP upgrade if you have any sense of, of, of fairness. So far, he doesn't seem that much more difficult than regular Gluttony. Except you can't dodge behind him, I suppose. And also, his, his normal shot does a monstro shot as well, like when he shoots out the, the peep style shots. But anyway, he's nearly dead. We're still alive. Hopefully he drops something worthwhile for us, although I'm not going to hold my breath. What else can Gluttony drop? He can drop HP upgrades and I think pills. Maybe some money? I would settle for money right now. He's got to die soon. Are you kidding me? Attack fly, do something. There we go. Hey, he dropped lard. That's a lot of health, uh, and it's actually good because we did get that speed upgrade. I'm still pretty quick, even with this lard. So we're alright on that front. Uh, I'm gonna go back and pick up... I know there was a heart back here somewhere. That's actually really awesome. So now we've solved one of Eve's principal problems, which is not having a lot of uh, starting health. So let's just shoot all this. Get this out of here. Okay, perfectly safe for us now. Um, okay, secret room. Let me visualize this quickly. This was our starting room. And there's... it. There's, okay, this is the shop. Okay, I'm just thinking. Could be, could be up here. 
Okay, I think it's right here. But, you know, I've never been good with visualizing things. Okay, that's not it then. But I think that that did have three borders on it. So we want to go up here. Is there one room up from here? Yes, there is. Okay, then I'm guessing it's going to be here. Okay, lucky me. Ah, <laughs> so worth it. In spite of the, the wasted bomb, that is unbelievably worth it. Huge pickup there. And, you know, I feel proud of myself for, for what I accomplished there. We'll definitely pick up a key as well. You know, you never know. We might run into a situation where we can't uh, use or we can't find a key on the next floor. So this will guarantee us access to the treasure room or a library or something. Awesome. We're going to be fighting Larry Jr. here. No problems there. Uh, I got speed. I've got health. Don't really have damage except for this attack fly yet. So I'm hoping that's what Larry Jr. You know, feels in his heart is the right item to give us. Some kind of damage upgrade. Then I would be, I'm not gonna again, I'm not gonna say sitting pretty, but we're in a better position, that's for damn sure. I mean, I already have like as many spirit hearts, or as many heart containers as I had by the end of my last run. And we did manage to make it to Isaac on the last run, and make it to his third stage, although, you know, it was not a, a graceful fight at all. Alright, there's one Larry Jr. deceased, two Larry Juniors deceased, spirit heart, tears plus range upgrade, which also may provide us with a damage upgrade. You know what, that's fine, I'll stick with that. Uh, I'm just, I'm very pleased with the way things have gone so far. Uh, just being able to find that secret room was, was amazing, from my perspective. I mean, think of all the mistakes I make in Isaac. I just thank God that it was on, that Curse of the Lost was on Basement Part 2 instead of like the caves or God forbid Necropolis or something. Because I never would have been able to find it if there were more than ten rooms. But being able to visualize it in my head, I was able to find the rooms where the secret room was likely. There was a dime in the secret room. This is all a recap in case you're just, you know, watching to cure your sleeplessness with your eyes closed or something. Um, there was a dime and, like, maybe eight more cents in there, so I managed to pick up the compass. Gonna make my womb and cathedral runs much faster. And I also managed to get a key as well, so we are not necessarily locked out of the shop on this floor. Or the item room. Probably the item room is preferable right now. Man, these guys are taking forever. I seriously need a damage upgrade. Dare I suggest Brimstone, although people have... I've gotten some tweets today. People are like, hey, since the last Isaac update, and again, remember, today, for you watching this, is not today for me recording this. But tweets saying like, oh, um, don't get Brimstone or Chocolate Milk until they do another update, because they are both totally broken and actually do not work at all, so I guess we'll have to use our own judgment when we come to that. I'd probably rather be safe than sorry. Look at how many shots that guy took to kill. Oh, come on, get back here. So we have three keys. I'm not sure wh where I was going with that conversation, but we, we do have three keys. Now I'm hoping I can use these dudes to blow up this air. Yes! I took some damage for that. Probably was not worth it. But hey, Dead Bird's here now. What's up, Dead Bird? Uh, ah, I got... God, ah, sucks. But again, red hearts, always replenishable. Likely replenishable, anyway. Might want to pop open that golden chest. <clears throat> in fact, let's do it. We do have three keys. Could get some money in there. That would make the shop worthwhile. Oh, troll bomb! No, troll bomb! Troll bomb. Well, we did get enough money to make the shop worthwhile, so... You know, provided we can find some more hearts on this floor, we're okay. No greed. No greed. Hey, we got map and compass. Great combination. So now, we can see exactly where to go. We know exactly where the secret room is. Again, this, this has been a little bit of a sloppy floor so far, but provided I do get uh, some hearts. That's oh, 99 bombs. That's great. So with 99 bombs, we will definitely be looking out for uh, the other secret room. I mean, I'm kind of wasting bombs right now. But, you know, we'll, we'll start worrying about bombs when we get down to like 50 or something. And that's not going to be for quite some time. Because the other secret room is often incredibly viable. Hey, there's another bomb there. I forgot about that as well, that, you know, we're going to pick up bombs as we go along. Now, hopefully I just survive long... Oh, no, 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 no. Hopefully I just survive long enough... Oh, God, come on! As I was saying, hopefully I just survive long enough to make use of these 99 bombs. Oh, come on. Troll engine, don't do this to me. I'm in a great position right now. I'm a happy boy. Happy to have been a long time in this game. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. No. Bad trip, Bill. 
Give me a bad trip hill. Okay. Well, soon I'll enter the cursed state. I mean, I guess every cloud has a silver lining. But I would rather just get a ton of heart drops, which of course, eh, that would be impossible now. That would make things way too easy, right game? What do we got here? The bean. Well, we might as well take it. It's horrible, but it's the only spacebar item we have right now. I am going to do this because I felt like I needed the hearts. The emperor. Okay. Well, we now we have no keys. Really want to find that last room. The secret room, I should say. Okay, please. Hearts. Just hearts in here. Enough to get me to the next floor. Single bomb. Not that useful. Let's quickly check for our secret room. Nope. Okay, well, I will come down here into the item room then. Maybe check down here? Alright, well, let's let's try this. I'm not feeling great about this. Alright, this dude... This dude and I have a history. We're gonna toss some bombs in here. This one should be perfect to get him. And also take out the bitches he's throwing at me. Oh! Oh, that was not a perfectly placed bomb. This one is, though. No, it's not. How about this one? Good, 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 good. Okay, spirit heart. We're fine. Please give me... Mom's coin purse? Okay, pills could ruin me. Telepills. Okay, that was not so bad. Uh, I will use that other telepills, because obviously the I Am Error room would be awesome right now. Probably going to pick up that spirit heart first, though, to, you know, give me some measure of, you know, the possibility of survival. So we'll come back in here. Uh, and also, very quickly, I'm going to check for the secret room off the boss room, although I think that's pretty unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so which one was the telepills? It was the red one, then. Bad gas, okay. Health up. Full health. Range up, okay, not so bad. Telepills. Nope, okay. Well, we tried. Uh, that was a terrible item, then. We basically just got a range upgrade. And we have the Emperor card, so down to the next floor with no keys, but, uh, you know, a ton of bombs. That's not gonna be a problem. Got a little bit of our... Conga line friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Damn it. Not like this. <laughs> this is supposed to be the glorious run. I just can't... I can't even get that key right now, either. Okay, we'll find the secret room. The secret room will contain a full heart container or something. Slot machine. Worth it. Give me... Give me hearts, please. Desperately... Oh, thank you. Okay, the money's fine too, but I really just need more hearts. Uh, you've already been more than generous to me, I admit. Keys would be good too, but you know, by and large, the the hearts. Uh, I'm gonna explode you soon, so you might want to pay out in hearts. Okay, we have a uh, an arcade as well, but I may not have money by then to go to it. Also, I mean, it doesn't look like there's. It's likely that I'll be going to the. Uh, uh, the blood bank to try to get an extra heart container right now. I'm kind of running on fumes, but we'll see. Of course, I will continue exploring because I definitely want to visit the treasure room on this floor. All right, we got one more cent, just one more heart. It would be worth it. All right, well, I'll explode you. Keys, awesome. So now we can go to the treasure room. Uh, probably more viable than the shop at this point. I should basically, I feel, just be playing as like, oh my god. <laughs> I should just be playing as Dr. Fetus, like, Fetus in a jar right now, just tossing bombs out, perpetually. Okay, okay, this is alright. That was weird. We have the crucifix that's like tears and health up? Or tears and damage up? Damage plus health up, okay, plus something else. Uh, still alive. Barely, uh, I, I feel the need to continue exploring. Because I desperately need more hearts. It would figure, like, the run where I get amazing upgrades as Eve, or at least, like, good upgrades as Eve. Uh, I, I just start sucking and being unable to dodge for one reason or another. I still, ah, I still have, like, no damage. You see how long those flies take to kill? Crucifix is a start, I guess. There you go. I poisoned your butt. And Bean recharges every room. I guess I would be stupid not to use that. And thus, you know, have been stupid not to use it. At least poison one of them. These guys can't kill each other, so I'm prepared to be in this room, you know, for 30 years. Bean should recharge like, uh, like the candle does. 
Like, it already does less damage than the candle, so why not just make it recharging constantly so that you can, uh, you know, fire as many bombs, or as many bad gases as you want. Uh, I guess we'll just make our way to the boss, like... I should be looking for the other secret room as well, uh, in my time down here. It's possible we might get, like, a flying item or something. That should be really good. Okay, well, let's see if this pops open. Nope. Okay. Uh, usually it's, like, off of an end room. So, like, this room would be a good candidate. Maybe here, here, and here. You know what? I'm gonna waste another bomb, because I don't think this one was in the right spot. Nope. Okay, bad luck with that so far. I would almost wish for an Ipecac, but I think that would basically be the, the nail in my coffin here. I guess we'll make our way to the arcade and try to win some keys and hearts in there. Let's plant some bombs. Yeah, I'd make that way easier on myself than just trying to kill them with the limited amount of damage that I'm doing. There's a key. We'll use that on nothing <laughs> right now. Plant another bomb right here. Again, I don't understand why I'm, I'm not using bombs more frequently. Maybe because I'm, I'm just wasting them, but... Come on, dude, just plant one right here. Shoot it in there. That was easy. More keys. Okay, now with this many keys, I feel I'm, I'm obligated to open this golden chest down here, which may contain a good item or possibly just some extra hearts. Okay, that was fantastic. That was well worth the key that, that was spent. Um, now I feel confident enough to explore to the right here and possibly find the other secret room. If the, the Isaac gods smile upon us, which they have sort of been <laughs> in this run so far. It's, it's been a little hectic, but oh uh, no. I hate everything. Playing a bomb right here. Alright, we got one. That was worth it. I got enough bombs to, to feel okay wasting them like that. Similarly, I have enough bombs where I feel like I can just drop one down here to save myself the trouble of walking over that to pick up the scent. Oh, that was shitty. I totally wasted my bean. We're down to a heart and a half again. But, you know, I guess we got some money out of it, so that's worthwhile. Not. Uh, check for the secret room again. The secondary secret room, of course. Jesus, thank God I had 99 bombs. Because I've been wasting them like crazy. Okay, now we'll go to the shop. <laughs> the shop may contain some regular hearts that I can buy. Oh, this is a, not a good room. Poison two of those guys. Dropping a bomb in here. Took out one of them. That's all right. You know, I can I can afford to waste these bombs for this exact purpose. Now I'm just hoping we don't run into greed here. No, 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 no! I didn't dodge that properly, did I? And of course, now he drops a heart. Okay, perfect. No greed. No greed. Okay, we got a spirit heart. Worth it. Now we will go to the boss room and give this a try. Not going so well so far. Flying object in the secret room, please God. Of course that's not the secret room. That would make things way too easy. Just hemorrhaging bombs right now. Checking again for the secret room basically everywhere because I feel like my methodology has been screwed. Shall we try here? Okay, let's go to the arcade. Fortune teller and this dude. We are out of money again. Oh, that's useful. That was a big pickup. I think it might be in my best interest to actually play the blood bank once now. What's this pill? Telepills. Ooh. Alright. I think that was better. We got a lot of money. Uh, do I have to actually buy these? Yes, I do. Okay. Holy water is good, I guess. We got our tears upgrade here. So I think that was okay. I'm kind of confused about, about how I feel about that. Because I was going to say... Oh, we got a spirit heart here, too. I was going to say we'll go to the blood bank. We'll play it uh, once, and then we'll enter permanent curse state. Because we're doing all right on spirit hearts now. But, I don't know. I guess I need all the health I can get right now. So we'll just stick with what we're doing. Holy water is not a great item, but I guess it's worth buying when you're already there. 
And I was kind of hoping, I was kind of thinking that I'd be able to find the secret room. Maybe I should have saved telepills until after the boss fight. Give myself a chance to get a little bit more treasure. Can't argue with results, though, and we are looking great for money right now. You know, basically everything else is a, is a crapshoot. Get that bomb out of here. Ah! Well, holy water works. We'll obviously make our way to the money zone right here, which is the, the treasure room, boss room combination. Wow. Uh, definitely need to visit the shop, even though I'm almost positive it's going to be our good buddy Greed. Dodged right into that. And then walked right into that, and yeah, cool. Also, um, took damage picking up the skull because he held it over his head like he was picking up a fucking compass in Zelda or something. Oh, there's another half heart for us. All our spirit arts that we've fought so hard for are gone. Hey, well, there's rage. That's good. Um, although also frightening. Pretty glass cannony right now. Only sorry, that wasn't even where I meant to put that. Pretty glass cannony right now. Only without the cannon part. I'm just made of glass. Okay, what do we have down here? This is just my faster way of getting to the shop, basically. Bean did nothing. No! Oh god, I thought I was gonna hit myself with that bomb. I'd have nobody to blame but myself for that one, but. Leaper's been killed, so we're cool on that front. Hey, a little bit of health. Now I don't feel so bad about fighting greed. Especially since I poisoned him right off the bat. Bean poison does decent amounts of damage. Despite the fact that I think it's a, a not a very good spacebar item, it does do solid amounts of damage. I just wish it recharged, uh, like, twice per room. More keys. You know what? I feel confident to do some exploring now. Poison the zombies should make my life easier. Excellent. Spirit hearts and more money. Okay, money equals power would be insanely good right now. More zombies. Oh, that was a, a Gillette Pro Dodge right there. And hopefully this guy will drop some more hearts. Again, if we can just get back to full health, like, all will be forgiven and all will be forgotten. We will have a decent chance at actually succeeding here. We've got all right items. This has been a bad set of, uh, set of enemies we've been coming across lately. Okay, we still got two poisons. That's good. Uh, but yeah, if we can get back to full health or near full health, and especially if we can get some way to maintain our health, i.e. get rid of this bean and pick up a, a Book of Revelations or something. You know, life is good. It is, all is not lost by any stretch of the imagination. Just gonna, we're getting close to 50 bombs here, which is when I said I would start to get scared about my liberal bomb use. But you know, for now, it looked very, very dire recently. Now things don't look as bad. I'm just going to put a bomb in there quickly. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly, uh, you know, as best as I could have hoped for. Maybe there will be some kind of um, amazing heart drop on one of these rooms. I got one of them. I was kind of hoping for, like, at least two or three. But one less leaper. And still one dead leaper. And that is always a good thing. No offense, if there's any leapers out there watching this, I apologize to you. I kind of feel like I'm... I'm, I'm so engrossed. They're so like in uh, so intense with my Isaac right now. But please forgive me and remember the situation that I've been in. You know, not only in this video where everything has been scary for like ten minutes straight, uh, but you know, in in my Isaac career in general, man, I gotta beat this game with every character. And Eve has been giving me problems on accomplishing that front for quite some time now. Okay, please. Thank you. Spirit Heart in there. I will try to use a bomb to get that out. <laughs> As I said, I will try to use a bomb to get that out. That was not what I... Okay, toss this one in here. Thank God I have 99 bombs. There we go. Easy. We also got a scent out of that. Three, three bombs for a Spirit Heart and a scent. Could be worse, right? Definitely use the bean. Uh, got some good poison damage done here. Dropping the bomb. All right. Crisis averted. Rage doing some work there. Uh, I'm obviously going to check for the secret room. The the good secret oh, the good secret room. I mean, uh, on the edge here. Man, that sucks. I've been having a terrible time finding that secret room. We'll check again down here. Also, you know what else I've noticed? 
basically no tinted rocks. What is up with that? One of the characters you, like, most need tinted rocks on, and just no such luck. Oh, please. Okay, fortune teller could be good. I could use an awesome trinket. I could use, um, way more spirit hearts. I could use a justice card. Absolutely, nothing wrong with that. Gave me a little bit of extra health. We're getting close to full health again. Which is the point where I would say things might be possible. Success might be a, an option. Awesome. And you know, for once, I think I am going to be very, very methodical here. Play this till about 30 cents. Hope for a good trinket. Hope for more spirit hearts. Leave the house. Don't leave the house today. Goat hoof. Okay, that's uh, random damage upgrades. That's more important right now than the... Um... Hey, crystal ball. Crystal ball gives us... It's like a Necronomicon plus the compass, right? Like, it shows us the entire world map, but it also acts as a Necronomicon, so it's, like, really awesome. I believe I had the crystal ball once before, and I considered it to be uh, a beautiful, beautiful item. So we'll just go to our last session here, and I think it recharges, like, once every two rooms. So it's not, re it's not like, every room, like the bean, and it's not multiple times per room, like the candle. But... Things are going much better now than they were a second ago. So we're at Depths Part 1. Who are we going to fight? Hopefully not uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I would much rather just fight a normal boss. Gish. Okay, that's cool. I could use this, the slowing effect from Gish, actually. So there's Crystal Ball. Uh, did basically nothing. Oh, it drops a Spirit Heart. Oh, and it recharges once every six rooms. Right, okay, now I remember. So it recharges once every six rooms. It drops a Spirit Heart. Uh, wow, that was a great shot from Gish, even though it missed. Um... Once every six rooms, and it drops a spirit heart as well as giving you the map. And a compass, I believe, which I already have both of, I think, but, um... Uh, so it's basically, like, I basically just picked up Book of Revelations. But if I didn't have map and compass, it, it would also, you know, function as them. So, this Crystal Ball, I think, is a, is a fantastic item. And we will try to make oh, good use of it here. It's alright, that was just the, the spirit heart that I lost, or that I gained. From Crystal Ball earlier. I can't see anything. Everything is so dark right now. Just kill Gish. Thank you. Okay, we'll pick up Gish. What's up, little Gishy? We'll talk about what we got in the Devil Room here. Monster Manuel and Ouija Board. Neither really that useful. And we will just, you know, in standard Isaac fashion, pray for a battery in here. Okay, we got Mulligan. We got we got some good stuff. Definitely take Mulligan. Definitely take the Spirit Heart. Uh, I will I will pay two cents for that just to get back to full health. Feels good, man. It's been a while. Then we'll come over here and obviously try to get to the item room. We can probably do it without using a key. I I don't know. There's so much shit on the damn screen right now. I can't focus on what's going on. Hey, I I how did I get hit there? Is it just me or is there a lot of stuff on the screen? Maybe I'm going crazy, but. So we'll bomb our way into the secret room. The first secret room, I guess. Slot machine. I mean, it's worth playing, I guess, now, because I, I need... Or I don't need the money for anything else. Item room is the magnet. Okay. A little late for, for that to be peak usefulness, but it's okay. Still got 45 bombs. So I'll just rely on the... Oh my god, the fly! I'm so... I'm I'm so happy actually, because <laughs> a minute ago, this run looked impossible. Not a minute, but a couple floors ago, this run looked impossible. I was biding my time. I was thinking, you know, as long as I can make it past 20, 25 minutes, hopefully it'll be an entertaining video for people. That's all I can hope for right now, because there's no chance at all of me succeeding on this. I'm not saying there's a great chance of me succeeding right now, but there's a chance, and that's what's important. Uh, you know, hope my hope has been renewed. I could still end up dying a minute from now, who knows, but... But I'm, I'm happy with the, the way things have shaken out. I'm gonna make my way over to the mob trap room over here. You never know, could be an awesome item over there. In a way, I'm, I'm kinda gonna be disappointed to see the Chronicles of Eve end here. This has been such a large part of my professional life for the past few days. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm gonna be really excited to never play as her again. So there's our spirit. Oh no, it gives us... I don't know what the crystal ball does. Hey, health upgrade. We also... I should note that that, uh, that card that we got was the lover's card. Good card. That's gonna give us two hearts uh, whenever we want them. Don't want them right now, but, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. Now, 
one thing that has gone unsaid so far since picking up that goat hoof uh, and rage as well is that my damage is actually really, really good right now. Good enough to potentially, you know, beat these later bosses without taking too much damage myself. So, I don't know. Anything could happen here. But I'm feeling much better than I was two minutes ago. Or ten minutes ago, or whatever the case may be. So I'm definitely not going to go to that self-sacrifice room, but I will check down here for the second secret room. Obviously that first secret room, or uh, the, the secret room on the last floor, that I discovered randomly uh, really helped me out. Crystal Ball was nice, gave me a couple of spirit hearts, which have since evaporated, but, you know, can't win them all. And I will explore every room on this floor, because I want to make sure that I would find that second secret room, if at all possible. I forgot that I got the mulligan as well. That was on this floor, though. I think that was very recently. So, you know, assuming I can actually hit here, or we can come across, like, Technology 2 at some point, maybe in that second secret room. Oh, man! That's bomb-worthy. Yeah, I still took damage. Oh, well. Like I said, got this lover's card, so we're... It's, it's all hunky-dory right now. Yeah, the spirit heart's nice, too. Yeah, okay, that was lucky. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we got a chance here. We got possibilities. We'll see. Slot machine I can't really get to, but potential for the secret room. Excellent. Mom's Pearl. I forget what that does. I'm going to stick with Goat Hoof. And we will move onwards. That was kind of a disappointment, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're about to fight Mom. We have the we have the technology in order to make that happen. I mean, we don't have technology, but we have, I think, the necessary ingredients to facilitate a positive run versus our own flesh and blood. And hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to succeed here. Uh, I feel like we're going to be able to beat Mom fairly easily. The problem, as always, is going to be Womb and Cathedral. But the bonus, of course, is that we have... Crystal Ball, a little bit of extra health now and then, or tarot cards, or what have you. The tower. That's shitty. Um, we'll just take our lover's card and run. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I should have stuck with uh, the bean. Because I thought it was the Necronomicon. Oh, well. Chubb, get the... Get, eat the bomb! Thank you. I think it does do more damage when he eats the bomb, as opposed to just running into it. I don't think so sure. I got enough bombs to... Uh, Make sure that I never have to shoot him the normal way if I don't want to. We've explored everything on this floor. Fool card, uh, not really worthwhile right now. We'll just hold on to this lover's card. And go into the boss fight. With eyes wide open. Hoping that we get some kills here soon. So that rage can build. And of course, as the rage builds, we'll be able to do more damage. And then it should be a snowballing effect. A slippery slope, if you will. A logical fallacy, yes, but in the Binding of Isaac, 100% true. Right here, just keep shooting the foot. So far, so good. We, oh, okay, there we go. You know, the, the bonus there is that dead bird will come out now. Lover's card is worthwhile. Mom's at about 50%. And dwindling fast as my rage increases. So far, this is going really well, or decently well, anyway. Dead bird just hanging out on that side there. Thank you for doing some real damage to something for once. My mulligan flies. I don't understand why dead bird is programmed, like, so badly, but mulligan flies work really well. Okay, so we got pageant girl. That's garbage, but, I mean, the money is nice, I guess. We'll head down to the womb. We got crystal ball. We got map and compass. We can see exactly where we need to go. And I may take a slight detour here in order to get to the secret room, because you never know. We could find maybe, you know, fetus in a jar, or epic fetus, or fetus in a jar, one of those two. Obviously those would, would juice us up pretty nicely. Actually, we don't even have to take a detour. We're just gonna come across it. <laughs> could play super risky and play the blood bank here, but I'm not going to. Instead, I will probably just explode it. Ah, you know, we'll wait and see if there's heart drops that I don't need. I, I guess we'll just pick this up. <laughs> See what we have in this secret room. More money that uh, couldn't possibly need less. But we're very close to the boss. Could use my lover's card, like I said, but I'd rather save that for when I need it. Uh, 
talking, of course, in reference to the blood bank. Uh, you know what? This is worthwhile, though. As long as I can avoid walking on the spikes, this is worthwhile. So actually what I'm going to do here is just send this bomb in. Airmail. Come back up here. Oh my god! Okay, so I got... Oh, that's good! That is good. So I can fly now. That makes the damage seem worth it. Uh, dealing with the split Loki here. Which is not so bad, I think. The ability to fly has just turned this run like 180 degrees. Well, maybe not 180, because I was doing alright before, but certainly things have turned around a little bit. Now, if I could get a brimstone, even though apparently it doesn't work, or a mama's knife, well, we're not going to. We are going to get a spirit heart and a range upgrade, though. Crystal Ball, what do you got for me? Awesome. Thanks a lot. That's That feels good. And we'll head down to the womb part two, or utero part two. Womb part two, awesome. And we got another heart container because of that faith heart. I will take a quick detour here. Gonna, okay, first thing, let's kill this dude, fly him on the spikes. Okay. Uh, then we can take these guys out more easily. Awesome. And we're back to nearly full health. Uh, yeah, we'll take a detour here to the secret room. Again, potentially something awesome. Hopefully. <sighs> All right. <laughs> We got Flying Epic Fetus. We should be in a, a very good position right now. Especially with people just handing us spirit arts left, right, and center. But anything could happen, uh, you know, I could easily hurt myself here. Try not to jinx myself, because that was definitely, like, some of the best possible options that could have come up for me in the last couple of seconds. Considering the items that I just went from to the items that I have now, uh, we are looking very, very good. And I'm fairly confident in our successes here. Might as well look for the secret room here, you never know. Might as well destroy all these right here. Fantastic. Okay. We're gonna get another spirit art from Larry Jr. here. Just keep dropping hydrogen bombs on them. People keep telling me to aim with the mouse with Epic Fetus, but I don't know. I find the keyboard, you know, it just takes some getting used to it. And you, you figure it out and it works fine. This guy's taking a while to kill, though. Really? His health bar has been at zero for so long. There we go. He dropped a spirit heart. Well, Larry Jr. dropped a spirit heart. Now we'll be fighting Mama's heart. So I'm just going to try not to melt my brain as I do this. Okay, perfect. Start dropping some nuclear bombs in here. I expect this to be a much easier fight than our last bomb, Mom's heart boss fight, which took like 20 minutes. There we go. I'd say that we are looking like we're in a pretty damn good position right now. And again... It's an example in Isaac. All it takes is a couple of great items to really turn your fortunes around. And I guess, you know, sometimes those items come later rather than sooner. Let's make our way to the cathedral. What I hope is going to be sort of a victory lap. We got some time here. We've got about six rooms to go to before we go to the, the bomb's heart boss fight. Uh, or, sorry, the Isaac boss fight. Sure, why not? Let's take the steam sail. I, I mean, I earned it, I guess. We got the Empress Tarot card that gives us the curse. I don't think that's as beneficial as the Lovers. The Lovers could really save our asses. Alright, so we'll just move straight ahead here. Flying is not going to help me here. But, uh, you know, luckily I do enough damage that apparently that's not a big issue. Joker takes us to an Angel Room or Devil Room. Takes us to the Devil Room. Yeah, it's not really worth it to get either of those. I'd say I'm, I'm already in a fine enough position as is. I was kind of hoping an Angel Room just pick up something for free. Certainly don't need the ability to fly. Uh, spectral tears are not an issue at all. So far this fight's going reasonably well. One more will be enough. Yes indeed. We get a fly. Okay, there's our, our key, which will probably never come in handy. Even, you know, just with flying, I probably could have made this work. But flying plus epic fetus almost makes it a foregone conclusion. Almost makes it a foregone conclusion. You know what? Why not? Judgment's here already. Give me something good, man. I'll pay out the ass. Sure, why not? I don't even think that's going to have any effect. Don't think so. There's our lover's card. Let's make it happen. You know, we got a lot of health. We got a ton of damage. And we got the perfect kind of damage for fighting Isaac, which is, you know, damage that comes in bursts and doesn't cause him to shoot out a ton of bullets. I would love for my mulligan to actually, you know, feel the need to do some shoot, do some damage to him. 
kind of taking more damage than I would like right now. But so is Isaac, I'm sure. He's very nearly dead, or very nearly in his third stage anyway. There's third stage Isaac with the angel fetuses. He's going to die, and I am going to beat the game as Eve. A kind of against all odds if you saw the start of this run. I kind of can't believe it. I'm a very proud man right now. We'll finish the game. Fantastic. I'm not sure if we unlock some sort of item for that. Uh, obviously, I will see that when I sign in next time. But as always, thank you guys for watching. We've now finished it for sure. Isaac, Eve, Blue Baby. I don't know if I've done Judas. I think I've done Kane. So I think i got maybe Judas Samson left. Anyway, maybe I'll try a Samson run next time just to check out his new buff. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.